All right, here's how to use Class Notebook for journalism. First, you're going to type in office.com. Then you're going to go to OneNote. All right, then you're going to go to Class Notebooks. Once you're in Class Notebooks, you're going to choose your class. If it's journalism, if you're in 5A, if you're in 6th grade, you choose. And then it's going to populate. You're going to have a welcome screen. Go to Collaboration Space. That's one of the ways that you can see you can work in a group. Only your group members will get to see what those things are that you're working on, such, such as uh, space, your interview, your pictures, all those different things will be in there so your group can work together. It will be something that you can work on dynamically at the same time. Let's say you want to insert a picture. You go to insert. You could go to file. Probably you can go to camera or you could go from online. You can just type in the thing that you're looking for, such as space. You choose a picture that you want, it will populate. Again, working in collaboration space tab allows the group and only the group to see and edit what you guys are doing. Otherwise than that, we have uh, different groups. Otherwise than that, you can go to, well, not the teachers only, but you can go to the content library and using the content library, you can see the rubric. It's gonna show you what is expected on the article on the written, written article, all the due dates, and of course, an example of what the summary and different specifications will look like. The points for every section also will be in there, vocabulary, the type of questions that you may wanna add. Now let's go on to what each student will see for themselves. I click on a name here. You have the choice of doing quizzes. Let's do class notes. You can go to class notes. You can insert class notes right here. You can also, but once you're finished with everything, I want each student to put it in individually into their homework. What I've done in the homework, I created different tabs, article, illustration, and summary, just to add checklist. I also added homework, I mean handouts, so you can see the rubric again. In each tab, there is a checklist. So while you're inserting what is necessary, you can check off and say, okay, you know what? I covered down in that part. Now, creating a page there's a name of the page and then you can put the articles underneath all right so i can create a page i can name my page i tab underneath then i can begin to put the content of the page there so you can do your homework copy it and you can paste it to each page you can add the page at the bottom of the part that says journalism right underneath the same column and you can keep going and going. You can slide it up, down, so forth. You can delete the pages. I'm going to delete these pages because they're uh, act an actual student's page. So again, you can go to Content Library. For some of the older kids, they can go to the Content Library and actually edit the paper itself. This is kind of what the new, the new newspaper will be looking like. They can edit the, the newspaper themselves or to that page in the collaboration space. But again, you can click on each different tab, include everything from collaboration space to work with a teammate. Or when you're finished, you can put each part that is necessary into the homework tab. You create homework. It's already there. Add the tabs. You can look at your handouts that's in your personal tab just to double check and make sure that you have everything. All right. Any questions, please let me know. I know this was fast, but hey, sometimes less is more. Thank you.